everybody and welcome to the next game that I'm going to play which is Scarlet Blade. This is a game that I um, learned about a few days ago uh, through the YouTube channel um, Free PC Gamers which is a channel where they uh, take first looks at uh, all kinds of free PC games. I usually use that to get a hold of good free uh, horror games but they do everything from puzzle games to action games and also MMO games. And this is a Asian free uh, to play MMO, so you can download it also completely free. And it is an MMO mainly based to a male audience. You will see why that is in a short while. So I choose the new the server for newbies. You can already see it. You can choose two sides: the Royal Guards and the free knights um, both the only uh, sex that you can be in this game is female this is the future and I read it's about like uh, all women are bioengineered and are that that's why they are like all curvy and beautiful and blah 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 but so you can only be girls here and they pretty much all have huge tits and this game has 40 million people who are playing it 40 million which is insane and I'm pretty sure all of them are male because there's no reason for you to be a girl gamer to play this game because there are way better free to play MMO games here you have the class system which this is a defender shadow walker this stealthy killer prowls the shadows and strikes with more death. So I guess basically this is the rogue Whipper. Whipper. A powerful melee fighter with excellent range. This arcana specialized Punisher. A range destroyer. Here you see the first vision of what is to come really. Once, from a safe and elegant distance. And I say it's Asian, uh I don't know that for sure but I'm pretty much I I I, I can uh, I bet it is because the whole aesthetic is kind of the same as you know an Aeon Atera with these, you know, curvy girls with these crazy hairstyles. They look all anime and shit. And as you... I don't know if you notice because of the distraction of their huge tits, but there are mechs on the background of each uh, girl. And apparently, what is the whole big thing also with this game is that you can mount uh, one of these mechs and have like huge mech battles. There's PvP with like up to 160 players at the same time. There are also of course the PvP continents and wait a minute. What the fuck? Is this the girl on... Is she, is she riding his penis? That's the first time I saw that. What the fuck? Whipper, is that with every girl? Melee fighter with excellent range. Well, this is looks a bit of weird, but Shadow Walker. This yeah. Defender. She shatters through enemy lines with world Wow, this is this is kind of creepy. It's like they're uh, being absorbed by these huge monsters. Here you have the obligatory obligatory um young Lolita character that are all in all these Asian MMOs. Which is actually really freaky if you actually know more about the whole Lolita culture yeah. in uh, in Asia. Kind of kind of disturbing. Medic. Okay, and so <laughs> I was like, well, why not? I play Terra 2, Girls with big tits, no problem. You know, better to uh, to play a game and and watch at a uh, a girl's big tits or ass instead of you know a, a a man's ass or abs all the time, right? So I wanted to make a Shadow Walker for my first like test playthrough, and here you have like all the hair, and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool and stuff, and blah blah blah, and it's, it doesn't go too deep, but I was like, okay, sure. And then you get clothes, and I was like, oh, okay, this looks uh, this is kind of cool, kind of like cyber gothic. She's like stealthy, like big tits still, and I'm like, okay, I, I kind of dig this. But then it went to this, and I was like, holy shit, and. I was like, what the fuck am I playing right now? <laughs> and I was like, well, Terra, which is of course known as the game for creepy perverted guys, 
uh, because you have, you know, the upskirt stuff and, and everything. I was like, well, at least Terra tries to kind of, like, hide it in this beautiful story-driven world with all these cool-looking monsters. Some of the races you can actually choose are, you know, not sexual at all, like the... the what do they call them, the Barakians or something, or the, the Popori, which are just these cute, fluffy animals. Uh, but here, it is pretty much, there's no denying it. Like, if you play this game, you are a pervert. And I am. So, that um, actually is a match made in heaven. Now, uh, I will choose the Defender. Defender was eventually my uh, class that I chose. Reason why is that Shadow Walker, if, I don't know if you could see that, but it actually showed nipples, and I was like, um, okay, I will not risk that with the YouTube thing. I do not want to edit shit out. So, we got this one. This uh, class actually can use a sword. The other one, the Shadow Walker, has a has claws. So I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's use this. Already kind of know what character I want to create, so that's all good. It's not like you can um, change like cheekbones or stuff. It's just you know choose a choose a face out of the, all of these. I will choose this one. Eye color will be light. As you can see, very very big anime aesthetic over here. Lip color is alright. Hairstyle will actually be the same. I can show you some of the other hairstyles. And I'm gonna go with this one. And in terms of hair color, um, that is kind of a difficult question. Why not go with red? Like this armor. Actually looks pretty epic, doesn't it? With the red. Maybe fire red. Fuck it, let's do this. You can also see the, the main colors. Um now, close. This doesn't have, this actually does not uh, matter at all. It's just as in Terra that it shows you kinda like what you will look like in the future. Um So I will look like this. Underwear, you can see it's. <laughs> oh my god, this game, people. Fuck my life. Here's my. It, in Terra, I had this whole, like, like uh, argument and this whole speech about, you know, why it's okay, you know, to, to pick girls in games because some people find it weird when you're a guy and you play as a girl in a game. And I was like, the whole, you know, looking at a girl's ass. Is, uh, even even though it's 3D and fake, is better than looking at a guy's ass for a long time. Uh, that goes completely out of the window here because it's pure it's pure perversion here. So all right, uh, since my test character was already called Shiraki and I cannot delete it for some reason, uh, I will make it Shiraki with two eyes. Finally, Shiraki. Yes. So now we got her, and as you can see, um, that's kind of yeah <laughs> that, that's some clothing she got there so here we go start I do not know what engine this game is using it looks okay it looks better than most free MMOs but it's no it's no Terra it's not the Unreal Engine I think all right. I actually did not read anything uh, during my my test phase, so I don't know what the story is and so and stuff. That's what I wanted to do now. So I did I did read this though. Actually, this is a tutorial. Greetings, little Miss Lovely. I'm your sys admin, Errol. My job is to give you and your commander the technical info you need to survive. So listen up. Wait a minute. Am I the commander? Are these like robot girls? What the fuck? Most of your quests will be delivered to you through the cybernetic receiver implanted behind your ear. A blue exclamation icon at the bottom of your visual field will notify you whenever a new quest is downloaded. More later, tatas for now. So they really kind of emphasis on that whole bimbo feeling with the girls. And here you can see the exclamation mark, and that will be your next quest. So you actually do not need to go to quest givers, or quest givers but the quest will be handed to you once you completed a certain quest. So yeah, um, I have some really nice round eyes. My God, <laughs> uh, this game! If you want to try this game out, it's free to play. All right. And while you guys look at that ass, I will 
look for the next quest. So it is actually me I'm talking now. I would say I'm honored I was chosen to carry out your mission, Commander. Oh, she's, yeah, I guess she's talking to me. But I'm not sure how en enticing the thought of trudging through a nuclear wasteland, grappling with mutants and looking over my shoulder for enemy ambushes sounds. If anything, you should feel honored I'm going in your stead. Lucky for you, I'm built for this. Oh, you're built for sex, you mean. In any case, this isn't a time for idle pleasures. We're under attack and the situation's critical. Mother, Mother's L. Loda wants to talk to you. I'll interface for you whatever's good it, what, whatever good it will do. So, now we're going to talk to them. They also, they also did a whole sex scene. You know, I was like, oh, I'm so hot. That waving hand motion. Huh. There are so many pretty things on the surface. I wish there weren't so many ugly and scary things, too. Okay. Well, voice acting, even. Hello, I'm Loda. You look flushed. Do not be so, daughter. We are as equals. Um, okay. Hello, Commander. I am Lota. Mother's L and executor of the Ark Project. All combat blaze, all combat class Arcana, including your own, are hereby ordered to move out immediately. There's trouble on the surface that requires immediate attention. Like I said, I actually do not know what the story is. We are the gold. We are the good guys who are, I think, Arcana. This mission is an excellent chance to show your qualities as a commander. Qualities that, believe me, the Arcana are biologically inclined to notice. Between the Narek threat and the Free Knights action, faction, you will have your hands full. Just remember, while the Arcana's imperative is to obey your command, Mother directs the Ark Project. And the Arcana are her children, which means you must embrace a symbiotic relationship. The Free Knights are working towards Enosia. Unless we impede their progress, it is only a matter of time before they discover our stronghold and come for our lives. Fear not, however. Your Arcana is particularly strong, and I, Lota, will ensure you receive the most up-to-date information. Veda, the weapons quartermaster, has a new weapon for you, lovely... Arcana, oh my god, he's lovely. Hey, lovely dovey! But first, as I see you are new, allow Errol to briefly explain how to interface with your Arcana. Okay. So now you can see I got experience. Now new quests. I know you're pressed... You're pressed for time, so I make this a quickie. Oh my god. It's full, full of sexual references. Don't ever press the skip button. If you do, there will be consequences. Listen up. You're going to learn how to move around if it kills you. That's right. Not me, you. The most basic method... Oh, I fuck. Actually, I did. Um... Okay, yeah, so basically what they explain here is you have here the quest window, and your my quest now is talk to Webb's Corner Master Vera. And when I tap on that, it will actually now auto travel, which means <laughs> you can now uh, move the camera freely, look at the bounce, or maybe completely put your hands on the keyboard, grab some lotion, light some candles, mm, if you know what I'm saying. And I don't know actually why I have a fucking skull in my head. Whatever that is about. So, alright. Weapons, uh, quartermaster. Good to meet you, Arcana. I'm Vera. Yeah, I'm Vera. It's my job to supply arms for Arcana who are deployed to service. Okay. Greetings, Commander. I'm the weapons quartermaster. I already know that! I distributed weapons to Arcana deployed on ground mission. Now, if you want a little toy to play with, listen up, or I'll send your Arcana topside armed with nothing but those dimples. The Arcana are relatively safe on the ground, so we've left them unarmed. That's going to change. They'll soon be thrust into combat. When that happens, their chakras won't protect them any more than their killer good looks. Which is to say, maybe nothing will, but we aim to try. Your Arcana's first weapon will be automatically equipped. Make sure she familiarizes herself with it. Become intimate with it. <laughs> Ever stroke it. <laughs> Love it. As I said before, I didn't read any of this shit, so it, it, it is incredible how much sexual innuendo this game has. A weapon is only as good as the Arcana who wields it. Errol will help you learn common methods. Pay attention, your life and the life of your Arcana depend on it. Ah, so now as you can see, boom, we have a sword. And a new quest. This is an extra to eliminate near my blah blah blah. So targets. Here you have all the targets, stuff, blah blah blah. It's pretty much the same. And the combat style is like standard MMOs, where you click on it, and it will automatically attack. I can choose some, you know, special attacks. Hello. 
Happy to meet you, Arcana. Yeah, Sarah. quest. I'm done. Surprisingly good. I'll bet it feels good to let off some steam after being cooped up like this on the ground. Well, good news, little Miss Temper. I think you're about ready to hit the servers. At least as ready as you're ever going to be. <laughs> oh my god, I want to kill her. Wait, what did I get? Did I get gloves? Before going to the source, I have one more tip. It's about uh, opening various information windows. So you have everything, character. Um, quest is J. J will be going quest. Here, this is also. And P will open the party menu. No, not that kind of party. Keep your eye on the ball, you silly little perverted gamer. Oh my god, I want to kill this bitch so badly. For your convenience, you can also. Yeah, whatever the fuck. Finally, it's time to go around. You must be licking your lips. <laughs> go see Lara, the Arcana is in charge of the service center. You, she'll sort you out. Good luck, you'll need it. Uh huh. Look at all these robots, which are guys for some reason. Rogue Guard Sentry. Maybe it's a robot guy. I, don't, I didn't know if that was a beard that he had on his chin or like wires. So here in the corner you can actually also see my level, you can level up. I have no idea to what level you can go. So we need to go to the surgery because we are apparently on the ground. Nice to meet you. Name's Laura. Yeah, name's Laura, blah blah blah. Transportation is my game, I'll have you off in no time to the service that is. Quest. I'm Lara, service transportation officer for Arcana Base, Area 1. Your Arcana is being deployed to Enosia, a very dangerous area. Nuclear fallout from the Narek invasion have destabilized and warped the e ecosystem there, okay. This is your first field mission, so listen. Our operator's judgment lately has left something to be desired, resulting in the destruction of surface terrain rovers and the needless slaughter of Arcana. Luckily, both are easily replaced, and you do well to remember that. The real problem is that... With recent disruptions to our communication signal, we believe it's being pirated by the Free Knights, which is the other faction, I believe. Nice to meet you. Name's Laura. I handle transfers. Communications may be down once you're on the ground. We'll activate a surveillance system with the hopes of preventing any sabotage attempts by the Free Knights. You are now authorized to use the ground transportation unit behind me. Can I trust you back there? Please don't touch anything but the unit. Do your best, Commander, and do bring that precious body back in one piece. Oh my god, escape! Escape! Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's get in there. So here we have uh, Canyon Base 1, Canyon Base 2, and something else. I don't know what that is, but let's move to Canyon Base 1. That's where I went anyway. So here you see some snow areas. I think pretty much the whole game now will play on, uh, uh, like above ground. I think that whole underground base was just a tutorial level and well as you can see we are now in a forest which uh, it doesn't look bad in honesty it's no Terra like I said and it's I think I do not even want to compare it to a um, Aeon I think Aeon definitely with the fucking graphical upgrade they got with the with the patch it was actually beautiful so okay hold on is the surface what you expected i like to think of it as hell underground they call it paradise i think it's some kind of sick joke this is your playground from now on now the key to any relationship is communication and the commander arcana relationship is no exception it wasn't a big deal on the ground but up here like it or not you two need each other mm. think of it as marriage <laughs> without the commitment and you're actually attracted to your partner uh -huh. <clears throat> Communication! You'll see the- Oh my god, yeah, this is the blah, 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 guild side. This is what we need. He loves him to commands. Okay, finish. Give me now, next quest. Yes, thank you. Commander! Welcome to Enosia! This once beautiful valley has become a wasteland. Your arcana may have difficulty breathing. Radiation levels are off the charts. But she's rocked and built to, uh, to adapt. I am sorry, tss, Commander tss, The single is choppy as I feared. You're breaking up. Look out tss, for tss, 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 free nights. Communication interrupted. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know that she's talking to me. And I'm like, not good, Commander. Communications with Lota has been cut off. And she's a robot, apparently. We need to find a way to reconnect. We're operating blind here. 
I noticed those little scourge beetles gnawing on fiber fiber optic cables near the transport. Perhaps they're to blame. I'll try eliminating them and see if the signal improves. Uh, okay, you giving me orders now? So she's like, I'm, I'll try to eliminate them, which I then have to do. Uh, okay, I got raped over there. Now, I don't know if the original version, the Asian version, also had this sexual innuendo. It's, it's, I'm not too sure. Sometimes, if, if they translate to English, they kind of have that weird stuff going on. Because they look at games differently. Commander, I took out the pesky Scourge Beetles with the damage is done. They've already devoured the communications cables. Now, what do we do? Come on, you're supposed to be the commander. Think of something! I'm thinking, bitch! Shut up! Oh, now we're level 2. And we have two new quests. The sc 